Hello guys, a very green to all of you. So guys, we're doing this chapter called, uh, called as Account Current and we've completed the concept with regard to reading interest in the previous class. So guys, today we're heading towards the final concept of this chapter, which is preparation of account current by means of product of balance method in case of banks. Guys, now the question is banks, guys. Banks also have to calculate interest by the amount which we deposit in bank. On that, we are we have to get interest from bank. And let's suppose if your account is also an overdraft account. So for that, uh, bank has to collect interest from you. So guys, when your account is in the nature of overdraft, guys, so you will get interest. You have to pay interest depending on whose money is there in the bank account. So on such cases, how do we calculate the interest being a complicated, uh, you know, uh, what do you call presentation? So how do we calculate interest in such scenarios? So let's take an example, guys. With that, we'll understand. It says that illustration eight says that on 2nd Jan 2020, Vinod opened an current account, a current account with Allahabad Bank Limited and deposited a sum of 30,000 rupees. He further deposited the following amounts that is on 5th January 12,000, 12th March 8,000, 10th May 16,000, and so on. And he withdraw, his withdrawals were as follows 15th February, 10th April, 15th June. Show Vinod's account in the ledger of Allahabad Bank. In the ledger of Allahabad Bank, guys. So we are preparing this in the books of Allahabad Bank, and the ledger is Vinod, guys. Vinod. So we are preparing this account from the bank point of view. Bank point of view. Interest is to be calculated at 5% on debit balance and 2% on credit balance. What this means, we'll understand. Don't worry. The account to be prepared as on 30 June 2020. The account has to be prepared for 30 June 2020. Calculation may be made uh, correct to nearest rupee. Okay. And assume one year is equal to 365 days. Perfect. So let's go on, guys. So please uh, note down this format, guys. It will start the date. Uh, format for this kind of questions is a little bit unique and different. So we'll have to just remember the format guys, date, particular debit credit to be more precise guys. If I tell you guys, have you all seen the bank statement or a bank passbook by any chance? Yes, sir. If you see all the bank statement or the bank passbook, the first column is the date column. Yes or no? The transaction date column. The next will be particulars in that from which party the money has come to which party you have transferred the money. The details about that is being mentioned. Correct. And third column is guys, debit column and credit column. Yes, in the bank statement, if you observe, there's a debit column and there's a credit column. That is cash deposit column and cash withdrawal column. In some bank statement and some bank, they follow the system of cash withdrawal and cash deposit. And some, they follow the system of debit and credit. The heading may change, right? Then guys, they'll mention the balance. And this balance is in what nature? Whether it is a credit balance item or a debit balance item, the nature of balance is mentioned in this column. So guys, from date till balance, guys, this is nothing but it is a format which is there in the bank, bank statement and passbook. Now, the last three columns, what you're seeing is this is additional thing what you're doing for the account current concept. Days, DR product, CR product is something which we're doing in addition to the bank statement format. So guys, please note down this format, all of you. Date, particulars, debit and credit column. Then what is the nature of balance, whether it is a debit balance, whatever the balance is left at the end of the day, whether it is a debit balance or a credit balance item, then balance column, days, debit product, credit product. So guys, who is rendering the account current statement to whom? Who is preparing this account current statement? Please tell me. Who is preparing this account current statement? Bank. Bank, Allahabad Bank. Can I say Allah Bank, ba Allahabad Bank is preparing the account current statement for Vinod? So can I say the heading will be Vinod uh, in account current with Allahabad Bank Limited? The heading will be Vinod in account current with Allahabad Bank Limited. Then guys, now let's look at the first transaction. If I come in the order of the question, guys, it says that on 2nd Jan 2020, Vinod opened a current account with Allahabad Bank and deposited a sum of 30,000 rupees for opening an account. 
So guys, from bank's point of view, we have to think this entry from bank point of view, guys. So date is second Jan 2020. So 2020 will be the top, and this is second Jan. Second Jan, guys. Second Jan 2020. In that on that date, <coughs> excuse me. 30,000 has been deposited, guys. Now please tell me this 30,000 rupees. Can I say it will, what will be the journal entry from bank's point of view? Can I say from bank point of view, money is coming inside? So can I say for them cash account debit? From bank's point of view, guys, money is received by the bank. So cash account debit to Vinod's current account. Can I say that? Yes, so what will be the narration, guys? Can I say buy cash? Buy cash account? Tell me, guys, yes or no? Yes, now, 30,000 rupees, you will account in which column? Debit column or credit column? Please tell me. This 30 rupee, 30,000 rupees for the bank, is it asset or liability? Liability. It is a liability. Why? Because whenever we know this demanding this money in future, bank is supposed to pay this money. So can I say this is a liability for the bank? Liability is credit balance. So can I say 30,000 rupees? I will account in the credit column. Tell me yes, yes or no. Please tell me yes or no. Yes, sir. And the balance guys, the balance is 30,000 because 30,000 is deposit balance is 30,000. And this is credit balance. So we'll put CR credit balance 30,000 rupees. All of you clear, not clear with this. Further moving on guys, after 2nd January, please tell me on which, which is the next transaction taking place? When is the next transaction taking place after 2nd January? Can I say the next transaction is taking place on 15 January? 15 January, again cash is deposited guys. So can I say again buy cash account? Buy cash account. 20,000 rupees is deposited guys. 12,000 is de deposited. So 12,000 is liability for the bank. Now tell me guys, what is the total balance? Balance means cumulative balance guys. Total cumulative balance. Can I say the total cumulative balance is now 42,000 rupees? And this is credit balance. I want to answer from all of you. Please tell me. Yes or no? This entire yes, yes. statement is prepared from the bank's point of view. Right. Superb. After 15 January, guys, please tell me next on which date the next transaction is taking place. 15 February. 15th February, 26,000 rupees is withdrawn, guys. What will be the journal entry? Can I say Vinod's current account debit to cash? No. Correct. So, but here what happens is guys in the bank, there's a system that to cash will put it, but also in bracket, you'll mention that is this money is withdrawn. So it is self withdrawal. So you basically write a check and give it to the bank and bank gives you money in cash. So that is called self withdrawal. So if you see here, the wording, what they have put is to self to self means to withdrawal. You can write to cash and also in bracket put self. That is also fine. So we'll go with the statement which is given in your book. So it says 15 February guys on 15 February. To cash, you can write as to self or to self cash account. How much money is withdrawn guys? How much money is withdrawn? 26,000 rupees is withdrawn. 26,000 rupees is withdrawn guys. Now from 42,000 guys, this 26,000, oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. 26,000, which column will you record? Debit, sir. Debit column, because it is reversal of liability, guys. To that extent, to that extent, there is a reversal of liability. To increase liability credit, to decrease liability debit. So it is reversal of liability. 26,000 rupees you'll record in the debit column. Now, please tell me what is the balance left in the bank account? 42,000 minus 26,000 is how much? 16,000 rupees. Now tell me guys, the 16,000 is credit balance or debit balance? Credit, credit balance. Still credit balance. Still 16,000 bank is liable to pay to the customer that is Vinod in the future. So it is still credit balance. You guys are able to follow what is happening. What are we trying to do? We are just trying to prepare the bank statement guys. The way bank prepares the statement and gives to us, no, that statement we are preparing. We are still not started with the current account calculation. I'm just presenting the bank statement guys to the to all of you, right? So going forward, guys, after 15 February, 
what is my next transaction that is taking place if i come in the chronological order what is the next transaction that is taking place 12th march 12th march it is deposited guys 12th march it is deposited so can i say buy cash cash account debit to vinod's current account so the amount that is deposited is 8000 rupees sir yes boss Sir, February credit balance I didn't understand, sir. Very simple, Kana. Uh, on fifteen January, what is the closing balance in your bank account? On fifteen January. Sixteen thousand. Fifteen January. What is 42, the closing balance? Forty-two thousand. Forty-two thousand. Next day, that is on fifteen February. What did you do? You withdrew money. Yes. Out sir. of forty-two thousand, how much money you withdrawn? Twenty-six. Correct. So that twenty yes. six you put in debit column, basically reversal of liability. Am I right? Yes. Sir. After minusing twenty six thousand rupees, what is the balance left in the bank account? Sixteen thousand. So this sixteen thousand, can I say bank is liable to pay this to you in future? Yes, sir. So what is the nature of the balance? Is this is debit balance or is this credit balance? Credit balance. Understood, sir. So here when I say DRCR, DR bar CR column, this is the nature of balance. what nature of balance is this this is related to this depending on balance whether it is positive or negative i will decide whether it is my credit balance or debit balance right let's go forward guys now tell me guys 16000 was the closing balance on 15 february i further deposited 8000 so what is my total balance in my bank account what is my total balance in my bank account 24000 24000 rupees this is the credit balance of the bank or debit balance credit balance credit balance because this 24000 rupees whenever we know demands in future bank is under obligation to pay it so it is a credit balance for the bank moving on further guys tell me guys next transaction on which date it is happening after 12th march next which transaction 10th of April, 30,000 rupees is withdrawn, guys. 30,000 is rupees is withdrawn. 10th of April, 30,000 is withdrawn. To self cash account, amount is withdrawn, guys. So my liability is reducing to the extent of 30,000 rupees. How much money is there in your bank account, guys? 24,000. How is he able to withdraw 30,000? बैंकर विल गिव यू लिमिट Up to which you can withdraw the money, even if in the bank account your money is not there. So let's suppose here bank would have given the overdraft limit of let's say two lakh rupees. So guys, twenty four thousand rupees is the money only left in the bank account. But the person is able to withdraw thirty thousand, which is six thousand more. He's able to withdraw that six thousand rupees from where bank is giving. Bank has sanctioned a limit to him, not two lakh rupees amount. Limit is given from this two lakh rupees, six thousand rupees. we know this withdrawn as loan it is loan but it is called as overdraft facility it is not actually called as a term loan it is called as a overdraft facility loan is correct but the nature is the nature of loan is overdraft over and above what is there in your account you can withdraw up to the limit that is sanctioned so 2 lakh rupees let's suppose is the limit sanctioned 6000 is withdrawn so what is the balance of the sanction limit can i say 1.94 lakh which means further 1.94 lakh whether is 1 lakh 94000 rupees still he can withdraw beyond that he cannot withdraw so depending upon the uh, person to person or customer to customer bank will set the limit up to which a person can withdraw the money over and above the money what is there in his bank account that is called as overdraft facility so this current account is current account plus the overdraft account it is a combination of these two accounts and this practically happens guys it is very much a practical part am i clear with what i'm saying yes sir Now, guys, thirty thousand rupees is withdrawn. So twenty-four thousand minus three thousand rupees. Can I say it is six thousand rupees negative? Twenty-four thousand is there, but you withdrawn. 
30,000. So can I say 6,000 extra withdrawn? So 24,000 minus 30,000, can I say minus 6,000? Please tell me, yes or no? Yes, sir. But in accounts, we don't write plus and minus. The plus and minus re is represented by debit and credit. Credit means plus. See, credit means plus 30,000. Credit means plus 40,000. Credit means plus 16,000. Credit means plus 24,000. So if it is minus 6,000, guys, it is debit. It is debit. Guys, accounts is all about plus and minus. I told you very clearly when we did in 11th also. Accounts is all about plus and minus. But if we never use plus and minus anywhere, prima facie, we don't use it anywhere. So it has been substituted by the concept debit and credit. Now, can I say the 6,000 is debit balance, which means that this money bank has to receive from Vinod in future. Asset, it's like asset. Bank has to receive this money in future. It's like debit. I have to get it. I have to get this from Vinod in future. Are you clear with this? Yes or no? Please tell me. All of you. Guys, if this is not clear, you will not understand what I'm going to tell next. Please tell me you got it, not got it. Yes, sir. Everybody, yes, answer sir. me, please. So take a highlighter and highlight this particular transaction. This is where people normally go wrong. So please highlight this transaction. Can I go forward? Next, guys, next transaction, can I see it is happening on 10th of May? 16,000 rupees you have deposited. 16,000 rupees you have deposited. So, 10th of May. 10th May by cash. 16,000 rupees in credit column. Now, tell me, guys, what is the balance in my bank account? 16,000 I deposited. In that 16,000, will bank allow my balance to be 16,000 or will bank tell? That you have, see 16,000 are depositing. In that 6,000 you have withdrawn from me last time excess. I gave you that loan, no? So I'll adjust that loan and your balance is now 10,000. Is what bank is saying. Is bank correct or not correct? Bank is saying, Karna, you have 16,000 deposit. You have 16,000 deposit. But you have 16,000 loan at the last time. And the amount of minus money, you have a balance. You have a balance. Is bank right or wrong? Right. Obviously, right. Bank will first take the take his money from water money you deposit, and remaining will be your balance. Now tell me, guys, this ten thousand rupees is the credit balance or debit balance from the bank's point of view? Credit. Credit balance because this ten thousand is your money, which banker has to pay in future. You deposited sixteen thousand. Of the out of the sixteen thousand, six thousand was the settlement towards bank's loan. What it gave you? Remaining ten thousand is your money. So this 10,000 is credit balance. Tell me guys, any difficulty in understanding this? Any doubts here, please? No, sir. I'm asking no, everybody, sir. everybody, everybody, everybody. Just keep on telling something so that, you know, I'll understand that you're able to follow, not follow. Sir? Yes, boss. Sir, yes, sir. Uh, and the time comes 6,000 interest. And the interest calculation is the same as the interest calculation. Okay, sir. The entire concept of doing this account current is to calculate interest. No, the interest part is not. Now, the bank has a statement to prepare everything. This is the next stage. We will calculate the interest. Okay, sir. 15 June, we will deposit the amount. 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 Sorry, deposit agile, withdraw irigu. 15 June ki withdraw irigu. So 15th June to self cash account. Yevlo pa withdraw pani irigu? 14,000 rupees is withdrawn. Bank la IA cash yevlo irigu? IA pair la cash yevlo irigu ba? Bank la? 10,000. 10,000 irigu. IA yevlo withdraw pannar? 14,000. आईया के एक्स्ट्रा नाले रहो कहाँ सेफ्टी आने चाहिए? ओवरड्राफ्ट। ओवरड्राफ्ट। सो कैन आई सेट डेबिट बैलेंस? पत्ता रह रखे। फोर्टीन विड्रॉ पढ़ना है। अब टेन माइनस फोर्टीन इस नेगेटिव फोर थाउजेंड। नेगेटिव फोर थाउजेंड मींस डेबिट बैलेंस। व्हिच मींस व्हाट? वी नो दिस सपोज्ड now, guys, now let's do the second part of this. Now you have to calculate days. If you see the normal account current statement, we used to have the, when you prepared, we know the account current with Allahabad Bank Limited, 
So we used to mention, I'm not talking about this question. I'm talking about previous, for example, X in the account current with Y interest up to so-and-so period like that. We used to mention that. No, now that is not the game here. That is not the game here. Logic is very simple. Kana. Now tell me one thing, this 30,000 rupees, which you know, we know this given to bank on which date did Vinod give this to bank? So can I say second January? Yes, sir. So from 2nd January to 15th January for this period, we know it should get 30,000 interest or not on 30,000 is supposed to get interest or not. This 30,000 rupees bank is sorry. We know this given to bank. So bank is enjoying this 30,000 for how many days? So I'll calculate this days that this days I'll calculate by taking the difference between these two dates. Very simple eh? because in the date to in the date, how many days in the date to in the date, how many days? So. Whatever the amount is there, balance is there, no? For that, how many days the banker has enjoyed that money? I'll see from one transaction date to another transaction date. So please tell me this 30,000 rupees bank is enjoyed for how many days? Second Jan to 15 Jan. How many days? Please calculate and tell me. 13. Everybody. 13. Every calculate running 15 minus 12, 13 days. All of you agree? Any difficulty? Please tell me. Technically speaking, guys, on this balance amount only interest will be calculated. So bank has enjoyed this 30,000 rupees for 13 days. Then on 15th of January, now you may ask a question, sir, 2nd Jan to 15th January, it is the end of the year. Because 15th Jan, there is no transaction. So that money along with 30,000, that is total 42,000. Now this 42,000 banker is enjoyed this for how many days? Can I say from 15 Jan to 15 Feb, how many days? Please calculate. Jan has got 31 days from 31 days minus 15 days plus another 15 days of February. So can I say 31 days? Banker has enjoyed this 42,000 rupees for 31 days. What do you say guys? Jan la mutta muppati or nal muppati on the padananji pochina, which means 16 days. This 42,000 rupees banker is enjoyed for 16 days plus febla on the padananji nal. So mutta muppati or nal on the bank is enjoyed this 42,000 rupees. Puri daipo. Why are we taking from and to from idna immediate next transaction date to edikadagro? Adora stop panite. On this balance, this balance, I'll calculate for next transaction date. A pretty oro transaction date. For this 30,000 rupees, banker is enjoyed for 13 days. And this 42,000 rupees is enjoyed by the banker for 31 days. This 42,000 is nothing but 30,000 plus 12,000. Purida. Now, the 16,000 rupees, the 16,000 rupees, banker is enjoyed for how many days? Can I say 15th February to 12th March? Tell me guys. Yes. Sir. 15th February. February has got 28 days. 28 days or 29 days? Huh? 2016. Leap year. Huh? And a leap year, I will consider Pani Rimana. So 28 days. 28 is February. February has got 28 days. In that 15 days, you minus. Which means 13 days of February. Bank has enjoyed this money plus 12 days of March. It is enjoyed. So 25 days is totally enjoyed. Now I'm about the question. Leaven the leap year. Now, uh, they should give you that. Please consider 28 days or 365 days. Up you put your assumption and do it guys. You work in a leap year. 16, 2016, 2020. Whenever you worked out, these people have calculated only 365 days or 28 days, wherever we came across February or throughout the year. So wherever, whatever you do guys in exam, give the assumption that February 28 days we have taken and the yearly we have taken 365 days. Better to give assumption. Now tell me guys, either one you clear or not clear? Clear, sir. Now this 24,000 rupees again, bank is enjoyed. Can I say from 12th of March to 10th of April? Tell me yes or no. Bank has enjoyed this 24,000 rupees from 12th of March to 10th of April. March la mutta muppati or nale. Adala panand minus funding na. Bank has enjoyed this 24,000 for 19 days in March plus 10 days in April. 
சோ மொத்தம் இருபத்தி ஒன்பது நாள் வந்து பேங்க் இஸ் என்ஜாய் திஸ் மணி சோ ஆன் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபார் சோ பேங்க் ஹஸ் டு பே இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் ஆன் டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபோர் தௌசண்ட் ருபீஸ் ஃபார் டுவெண்டி நைன் டேஸ் புரியுதா இல்லையா நெக்ஸ்ட் The six thousand rupees is in negative now. Debit balance pa. But the six thousand rupees, who are enjoying it? Bank ka? Ila Vinoda. Vinoda. Apo Vinoda, everyone in the six thousand rupees enjoying it. Can I say from tenth April to twenty fifth May, tenth April to twenty fifth May, everyone enjoying it. Yes. 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 Yes.
42,000 into 31 M plus 13 lakh 2,000. Next 16,000 into 25 M plus 4 lakh rupees. 24,000 into 29 M plus 6 lakh 96 thousand rupees. Guys, time is very crucial. I hope you know how to do M plus and MRC by now because time is very crucial. There's no point in wasting time. Now I'll first finish all the credit columns, guys. Credit product column, then ten thousand into thirty-six M plus three lakh sixty thousand rupees. I'll do MRC now. Thirty-one lakh forty-eight thousand rupees is the total. Thirty-one lakh forty-eight thousand rupees is the total. Now come to the debit balance item, guys. Debit balance is six thousand into thirty M plus. One lakh eighty thousand rupees. Next four thousand into fifteen M plus sixty thousand rupees. MRC is two lakh forty thousand rupees, guys. Two lakh forty thousand is MRC. Tell me, guys. Till this, do you have any problem? No, sir. Now, guys, the question says that interest is to be calculated five percent on debit balance. Whatever debit balance you're getting on that five percent, so bank will charge. Guys, bank will always charge more money from you and give you less money. What is banking business, guys? They take money from you at less interest. Let's say two percent. So this is customer and this is bank. Customer will give money to bank for two percent interest. Bank will give this money to their customer as loan. At five percent, so can I say bank is earning three percent? On loan, bank is earning five percent and giving two percent to you. So three percent bank is earning. So obviously on the debit balance, guys, bank will earn more, and on credit balance, bank will give you less. So I have to calculate five percent on debit balance, two percent on credit balance. Can we do that, guys, all of you? Calculation of interest. Interest at the rate of five percent on debit balance. Guys, okay, so what is my debit balance? Two lakh forty thousand rupees. Wait, first I'll do on credit balance. Interest at the rate of two percent on credit balance. So thirty one lakh forty eight thousand rupees is the amount, guys. Into into Two by hundred into one by three sixty five. Please tell me what is the interest amount? Thirty one lakh forty eight thousand into two percent divided by three sixty five. Are you all getting one seventy two point four nine? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, guys, interest less interest at the rate of two per five percent. On debit balance, which is two lakh forty thousand rupees, into five by hundred into one by three sixty five. So two lakh forty thousand rupees into five percent divided three sixty five. Is Arul getting thirty two point eight seven? Yes, sir. Guys, this is interest payable and this is interest receivable from bank's point of view. We have to bank has to pay this and this has to be received. So, what is the net amount, guys? One seventy two point four nine minus thirty two point eight seven. Are you all getting one thirty nine point six two? Yes, sir. If I have to round this off, what will be the round off? One forty. One forty rupees is the round off. So one forty is net receivable or net payable? Payable, sir. It is net payable. So can I say this is interest expense for the bank? What is journal entry for recording interest expense due? What is journal entry for recording interest expense due? Interest to outstanding interest. Interest. 
to outstanding interest. So can I say interest account debit to Vinod's current account also can I write? Because debit is expense, credit is liability. So I'm creating the liability in Vinod's current account. This bank will not maintain multiple ledger for the customer. Yes, if you go to your bank account, bank will maintain for every like for, for the money what you deposit, for the money what you withdraw, for the excess money what you withdraw, for the interest what they have to pay you, for the interest what you have to pay them. For everything, guys, it is only one single ledger called as Vinod's current account. Just like we have capital account, no? Capital account what we prepare between the business and the uh, partners. Everything that is happening between business and partner is rooted through the capital account. Same way here also, guys. Anything that is happening between the business, that is bank and the client, will be rooted only through the one single account called as Vinod's current account or respective customer's name account, right? So this interest is paid on 30th of June, guys. So on 30th of June, can I say buy interest expense? Because bank for bank this 140 rupees is expense, so it has to pay. It has to pay to the Customer, so one lakh forty thousand rupees. I'll put in the credit column, guys. It has to pay. We have to pay to the customer. Now, guys, what is the balance? What will be the balance here? Please tell me. Four thousand one forty or something else. Guys, this four thousand is debit balance, and this one forty is credit. If this four thousand is minus, means this one forty is plus. Now tell me, guys, what is the balance left? Three thousand eight hundred sixty. Three thousand eight sixty is the balance because four thousand rupees we have taken excess from the bank, and bank is supposed to give us interest. So bank is saying that whatever interest I have to give you, no, I'll adjust from the money what you have to give me. So three thousand eight sixty you have to give me further. Bank is telling we know. So what is the balance, guys? This is can I say still debit balance? Yes, sir. That's all, guys. We are done with the question. We are done with the question. Wait, wait. What did I do? Yeah. So last column, guys. This three eight six zero is balance carried out, no? So right at the end, again thirtieth June. Thirtieth June. By balance carried down. This is credit balance. So it will come here. Three eight six zero. Now please do the total of this, guys. Is it matching? It has to match. Please the total. Please do the total of debit and credit credit column. It should be seventy thousand. Seventy thousand. Balance carried on three eight six zero. Therefore, on first July. This is debit balance for the bank, guys. Three eight six zero is debit balance for the bank. Guys, okay, not okay. <clears throat> is there one more question in the exercise? Uh, do you want to take that as homework, or do you want me to do it on the whiteboard? Guys, please tell me, comfortable, not comfortable. How do you feel? Adi, Bhavika, Lakshana, Manish, Nandini, comfortable? Pratiksha, Priyanka, Raghav, Shruti, Roshni, Sanjeev, Sundari, Shweta. Comfortable, sir. Comfortable. Comfortable, sir. Comfortable, 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 sir. So there's one more question, guys. I told you it is there in the exercise. Do you want me to do it now, or do you want to take that as homework once? In exercise, basically, there are two questions. This question is what I was talking about. What say, guys? Homework or now? We'll try it, sir. Homework. Okay, great, guys. So I take this as homework, and let me know if you have any doubts. So with this, we complete the account current chapter, guys. With this, we complete the account current chapter, and we'll be starting with the next chapter, guys. Uh, I think mostly we are planning to start with average due date. So, guys, overall comfortable what we discussed so far. So we started this chapter uh, where we uh, did the forward method. 
two methods are there guys to calculate the interest forward and backward under forward we have further sub two division two subdivisions one is simple method that is mean for each and every transaction you calculate interest separately to avoid the over consumption of time we came out with the product method so in forward method we use product method if question does not specify what method to be used you can use product method so in forward method we learned two things guys and in backward method there's another method called as backward method epoc method so we did that and then we did red ink interest concept we did red ink interest concept and now we did this concept guys which is preparing the account current statement from the point of view of bank so definitely uh, guys you need to work out a lot of questions uh, based like whatever questions we worked out so far at least two times you have to work out in next two months guys minimum because uh, once you start doing average due date then account current average due date little bit you might feel confusing right so though both the concepts are totally different but yes that is also involving the calculation of days dates so there's a pro probability of you know getting confused so even if you see in this chapter the uh, the calculation of number of days is very different in the preparation of account current from the bank's point of view and from normal business point of view so guys only more and more practice what you do that will help you to you know get a clear clarity as to which method what i'm supposed to do and if you see here we have different different formats and different different concept guys so we have to remember that format as well so you have to do a thorough revision guys or else in exam there is every possibility of you getting confused then you will come in later and say me sir i'm i knew i knew this what to be do what to be done but i got confused between the format or i got confused between the calculation of days so i'm warning you before itself that there is every possibility of you getting confused the only way to overcome your confusion is to have a clear practice clear practice guys if you want i can give you more questions also i can uh, scan and send the pdf copies to you. you can work out from that it's up to you guys comfortable overall with this chapter now hello yes boss so one doubt sir in your screen can you come a bit down sir sorry so you are sharing your screen now sir come a bit down sir in the interest calculation sir it's 658 yes. minus 217 how it is 417 sir it should be 451 no sir 658 minus 207 451 one second so let's see first of all the calculation what they've done is right or wrong uh, Ten percent on debit balance, eight percent on trade balance. Okay. So debit balance is ten percent. So twenty-four lakh two thousand into ten percent divided by three sixty-five. So it is six fifty-eight. Okay, that's correct. So nine lakh forty-five thousand into eight percent divided by three sixty-five. That is two not seven, so that's correct. Six fifty eight minus two not seven is four fifty one. They have written four seventeen. So the calculation is wrong. So basically, it is four fifty one, guys. It is four fifty one. This will be four fifty one. Therefore, your balance carried on will change. Your balance carried on will change. Guys, are you clear what they have done? They have done mistake. This is a calculation mistake. So please correct it. It's four fifty one. Six fifty eight is correct. Two not seven is correct. When they did a net off, there was a mistake there. So it will be four fifty one. So this will be four fifty one, and the balance will go for a change, guys. Balance is twenty three thousand debit balance, and net balance is what? Net we have to receive from the party. Am I correct? Debit balance is more. So we have to receive four fifty one rupees, guys. So plus four fifty one. So twenty three four five one. Twenty three four five one. Twenty three four five one. This is the balance. Is that clear, all of you? Yes. Hello, guys. So, guys, that's all from uh, my side for this uh, particular chapter, guys. I'll see you in the next class with the next new chapter. Until then, bye bye. See you. Take care.